Hey everyone, Cookie here. I have for you a great Snipers gameplay. This is one of the best Snipers games I've ever had in Halo. So I hope you enjoy it. And this is my CSR 50 game. It's a Team Snipes match on Shutout. And you'll notice right away I go for the S3 position. The reason I do that is because usually in high level snipers, if a team spawns BR tower, they send one person top mid and they normally jump up S3. So I was waiting for that guy and I was able to get the neutral kill with him. Right now we spawned BR tower. Spawns normally switch after the first few deaths. So I'm doing a good job at holding them off of S3. This is a good position to be in. If you go all the way on top like I am right now, you can see snipe 2 without getting sniped from their ramp. But if you go on this ramp, you can see whoever pops up, and you can pick them off whenever they look top BR. So this is a good position to be in. It's one of the most popular positions just because of how great it is. So right now I'm just, you know, trying to maintain BR control. I'm looking if they spawn lift, and they are. They're spawning bottom lift. I see someone go bottom mid. I know there are going to be more people bottom lift. So I just wait it out, and sure enough, there's someone elbow. I know my teammate's on BR ramp, and he's taking care of that, so I just I go back to top BR tower to pick off the people who have probably moved to snipe tower. So my teammate has that ramp, so I'm just trying to, you know, play the other side of the ramp. I'm trying to make sure people don't go top lift, trying to make sure people don't sneak out an S2 like that kid. And, you know, this gameplay, partly the part of the reason why it's so great is just because uh, my shot was on this game. I wasn't missing many shots, just generally high accuracy. And, um, you know, just things were falling into place. My teammates were calling out pretty well. We held on the positioning on the map pretty well. And Shutout is one of those maps where if you hold down a certain position, especially in snipes, you know, your team could do extremely well, and individual players can do extremely well. It's one of those maps that's just really well designed, and I'm glad that that they incorporated this into the Snipes playlist. So, when to go up lift. That's something that, when you play a lot of Snipes, you'll realize going up lift in general isn't that smart of an idea, just because you can be shot. You have the low ground, you can be shot from Snipe Tower and BR Tower, so not a lot of people go lift. I go up lift when my entire team spawns, uh, when they spawn bottom lift, or I go up lift when, when uh, my teammate has or my team has control of a certain tower to get the cross position. The reason I go up lift when everyone spawns bottom lift is just you know that's pretty much a spawn trap. If they have both towers controlled and you spawn bottom lift, you're gonna keep spawning there unless you lift up. When I lift up, I'm pretty confident that I'm able to get, you know, at least a kill or two, so uh, that's why I choose to lift. If you don't like the position of playing top lift, then I don't recommend you go there, and you should just rush bottom mid, rush like bottom tower, so you can get control. But, you know, when to lift, when to actually go top lift is something that you just get used to over time. It's what you feel comfortable with. I do it just to prevent us from spawning on bottom. Because normally if you're top lift, your team doesn't spawn on the bottom. They spawn like... Uh, sometimes they do, but they'll spawn like elbow. So they'll be in a little bit better of a position to move out. Right here we have snipe control. And snipe control on this map isn't the best tower to control. So I immediately push bottom mid. You'll notice that I check library window. Because usually good teams have one person positioned in library watching bottom mid. But there was no one there, so I'm BR2 right now. Unfortunately, I get taken out from behind. There's nothing I can really do about that. But you'll notice I spawn elbow right away. I notice that there's someone pushing snipe tower. And I try to pick off this guy, snipe one. I know he's going to be here. But my teammate dies, snipe two. I know there's going to be a guy there. And this guy ends up dropping on us. I take him out, and I still know there's a guy on snipe two, so I jump and take him out. He had the binary rifle. So I noticed my team is moving up to snipe tower and my other teammate is fighting people uh, bottom BR. So I move in, I end up getting one shot. 
I know this guy is on the BR ramp, so I take him out, and I still know there's some on BR1, so I pop around the corner. There happen to be two of them there. I barely miss the collat, but I end up taking out one of them. So the first instinct you should have when you spawn elbow is to look BR ramp. Yep, and of course there's a person there. I end up missing that shot, but there are almost always people there, and I end up picking that guy off. So that should be your first instinct every time you spawn elbow. And when you're BR ramp, you don't really want to challenge elbow that much because I think you have an advantage when you're on elbow. So my teammates die at snipe tower. I look. Thanks 343 for the red axes. That actually does really help. Uh, in every game type, but that guy had some good shots on me and he ended up taking me out. I still know his, his elbow, so I look for him. I end up taking him out from behind, and I get a shot on the guy bottom BR. I know my teammates are down there, so I was about to back away, but the guy got a really good shot on me. So we get around to the last 10 kills of the game. Um, this kill right there, here, I'll rewind it for you, but like, this skill right here on this ramp, it shows you that when you snipe, you have to learn when you should just use the left stick and when you should use the right stick only. And you'll notice that I only use the right stick on that kill. Uh, I don't try to adjust and like I don't strafe too much, but you just really get used to that and how to line up your shots and snipes. But I don't know, that's just something that, you know, as you play more snipes, you'll realize that like, you only need to use your right stick on certain shots and you should keep it level and use your left stick on other shots. But you'll notice right there I lifted. I noticed someone dropped below me, but when I lift up, I'm not just going to focus on the guy behind me. I'm going to check top mid, make sure no one's crossing, and I ended up picking a kill off. And then the guy lifted on me and ended up getting that kill as well. So right here I'm playing the cross position for my team. They have BR control and I'm just making sure that no one rushes across. I realize that I'm playing pretty well this game and you know we're about to win so I want to play pretty aggressively. I end up taking a one guy out, snipe one, and I end up get, getting a second kill, snipe two. And then I get picked off. So we, we have one more kill, this guy overextends and I end up taking him out. But anyway, once again that was a that was my CSR 50 game in Team Snipes. I had 26 kills. Everyone I played against was pretty good, and all my teammates are pretty good as well. So, uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and recommend the channel to your friends. And that is it. More gameplays to come. I hope you've been enjoying the recent FFA gameplays I've posted. I have some more sniper's, sniper's gameplays to come because I know you like those. Anyway, that is all, so see you later.